hi guys welcome back to my channel so today is two days after my diy protein treatment and i've still not had the chance to moisturize my hair so i decided to come over here moisturize it and show you how i stretch it using the threading method so because i am on a growth journey at the moment i am avoiding heat i generally don't even use heat the last time I blow dried my hair was last year for my wedding so it's been a year since I blow dried or used heat on my hair so I want to go the whole of this year without heat so I'm going to use the threaded method I'm going to use this wool this is the wool that is used in knitting so if you've got that you can use it it can be quite dry in so you can either use this or there's like a plastic version which i've got but i have no idea where it is so i can't show you but in ghana this is the one that we use so i'll be using these two so yeah before i start please make sure that you're subscribed and also hit the notification button so you can get notified every time i post a new video so let's get right into it this is what my hair looks like before i moisturize it So because it's very dry, I'm going to just spray, spray it all with some water before I start working on it. So I went to the bathroom to spray my hair because I didn't want this to stain my couch. So my hair feels really soft now. So I'm just going to part my hair into two. It doesn't have to be neat, these parts, because this is not really a style. Um, it's just to to stretch my hair and then tomorrow I am going to trim it. I forgot to say that I needed a trim. First I'm going in with my Shea Moisture Curl and Shine Style Milk. So I make sure I massage that well into my hair. I'm then going to follow on with my Cantu Argan Oil Leave-In Conditioner. I started doing this because I noticed that just using the the Cantu on its own was not moisturizing enough for me so I went and got that shine milk which I have used before and I know that my hair likes it so now I sort of double up and it works perfectly for my hair my hair feels super moisturized so that's why it's important to know what products your hair like so you can switch it up when you need to i like to like stretch out my hair while combing it because it makes it easy for the comb to go through instead of like letting it go it keeps you stretched and it makes combing a lot easier so i forgot to show you this but i sealed my hair with my hair growth oil i'll put the link up on the screen so you can have a look and then once I did that I just smoothed down my hair to make sure there was no frizz before going in with the threading. I've not done this in years and usually my mom does it for me because she loves threading my hair. I think it was like a bonding thing for her but one thing I want to say is that make sure that it's not too tight at your roots. If you want it to be really straight then you really have to make sure that there's no gaps between your threading but I don't really mind it so and also when your thread finishes just continue with another one from the same place so hold it like that and wrap it around the same spot a few times on the other thread and then move on down make sure that you brush you brush your ends as well so that all the hairs are smooth and then smooth it down with your hands and then keep going see this is why it's very drying because the thread pushes out all the moisture from your hair so to make sure that it doesn't dry out too much I'm just going to apply more of my 
hand to shea butter to my ends and then I'm going to add a bit more oil as well. If it looks like your thread's not going to be enough for the whole length of your hair, just spread it out a bit, don't make it too tight and then it will stretch all the way. So I've just left a little bit at the end, like that. <laughs> so, and then I put a knot at the end, like so. But not too tight because I want to be able to take it out tomorrow. So this is it. That's the first one done. Hi guys. So I've gone and finished threading my hair off camera. And there it is. I usually just leave a bit of the, the thread at the end. So I can use that to unravel. So that's what I have done for all of them. So all of these have threads, I've used the thinner thread here. So yeah, I am going to keep it in for a day or two, depending on how long it takes to, to dry. And also, I guess the longer I leave it in, the more of a stretch I will get. So a day or two, and then I'll come back, unravel, and then trim. So it's been two days now, and I've had my threads in so i am hoping that they're dried now what i'm gonna do is i am going to undo each one and then give myself a trim and then twist it back so let's get right into it so i'm just dragging my hair out of the loop of the knots that i made if you can see so i'm just gonna drag my hair out so my hair's out <laughs> and then i'm just gonna take it out So that's the first thread. So that's the second one. And this should probably take us to the end. Okay, so this is what it looks like. My hair still feels pretty moisturized. So I'm glad that I put so much of the moisturizer on it so that's where it is i'm just going to comb it out and then trim so the trick is to make sure your hair is thoroughly moisturized when you put your your thread in in because it really does suck out all the moisture in your hair so this is my hair as you can see it does need some trimming because those ends are rough so i'm just going to do it in smaller sections so i can really get in there so so i think i'm gonna cut about there like there so i'd say about two inches Okay, so that's that done and then I'm going to do the other one I usually just um, trim my hair in twists but then but this time I just want to really get in there and get rid of what I do not need because I really want to start my my hair growth journey properly so I'm gonna cut about there so I want to start my hair growth journey properly so I want my hair to really be in in good condition so I'm putting it together so I'm gonna trim that so yeah that is going to make my hair significantly shorter but at least i know that it's going to be super healthy so so this is it there now so we're all done i'm going to undo all my twists 
and then show you what my hair looks like. So I've gone and combed it out and it's already shrunken again. <laughs> so this is my hair stretched with the threading method. I'm going to try and incorporate this into my routine and see if it will make a difference to my hair care and hair growth. So I'm going to experiment with it for a bit and see how it goes. So thank you for watching if you've sat through this. Um, if you've not subscribed yet, please subscribe and let me know if you use the threading method for your hair and you know whether it's if whether you found it useful and also whether stretching your hair has helped with your hair growth so i shall see you in my next video